Hi everyone and welcome to Friday the 26th of February's Daily Overview. It's a bit of a different one today because it's no screen day. I know and I, the sense of irony has not been lost on me that I'm busy recording a video which you will access via a screen but it is there to guide you through the day. So today is no screen day. So what you'll have in your pack is something that looks exactly like this. And the idea is, is that today we want to give your, you and your children a bit of a break from staring at screens. Um, so what we put together is a series of different challenges. So there's four different categories. And within each one of those categories, there are options for different challenges that the children can do. What we'd like you to do is, or what I'd like the children to do, is to choose at least one of the challenges from each of the categories. OK, so, for example, um, we've got the categories of the creative hour fitness hour, science hour, and mindfulness hour, okay? Just a quick note that there are no live recorded lessons today. The I am available if you've got any questions via Class Dojo or via Seesaw, and I would certainly love to see a lot of this uh, the stuff that children do today, photographs or images of people's work uploaded to Seesaw that I can look at it. So that side of the screen bit, I would love to see what people have been up to. But in terms of actually doing the tasks, you won't need a screen for them. So in the creative hour, uh, there are five challenges. Uh, one is a STEM challenge, which is to create the tallest possible tower out of objects in your house. Just make sure they're not fragile objects or valuable objects. Tech choose a, a food tech challenge, so it's bake off. Can you bake a cake? Uh, I want to see who's his most mouthwatering. I have never made a cake or baked a cake, a cake, I should say, in my life. I really do need to do so. I'm pretty sure I told somebody that in a response I gave the other day. Um, challenge three is modeling. So create a junk model of your choice. Um, challenge four is nature art. Can you use rocks, leaves, sticks, and other natural objects to create a piece of artwork outside, take a picture of it, and upload it to Seesaw? I'd love to see it. And then den challenge. Can you build a den, either inside or outside? Fitness hour. Um, go for a walk. Take five pictures, um, one for each one of your senses, so something that you can see, smell, hear, touch, and taste. How many lengths of your garden can you run before you tire yourself out? Maybe challenge yourself to do more limbs uh, or the same distance in a quicker time. How quickly can you do it in? Uh, create your own Joe Wick style uh, fitness routine. And I know this goes against the no screen, but maybe get somebody to record it and then we can have a look at that later. Maybe try Mr. Brindle's uh, sock throwing challenge. Can you land a sock, uh, sock ball onto the tabletop? Make it harder by increasing the distance using a smaller table. Maybe change the throwing technique too. Challenge five is use your favorite song to create a dance routine for it. Uh, for Science Hour, I'll go through that in just a minute, but with, with Science Hour, we're going to look at the Dr. Joe Lockdown Challenge cards. So I've got those that are following in just a minute. So the final one that you've got, I can get my cursor moved, there we go, is, that's better, my apologies, is a Mindfulness Hour. So this is just about sort of relaxation or settling your mind. So Challenge 1 is to complete the Mindfulness Colouring Sheet, so that's in your pack too. Uh, maybe read a book and then tell us about what book you've read. Uh, draw a picture of your dream holiday. I think there's a lot of people uh, wishing that they were somewhere else, maybe on a nice beach somewhere and relaxing. So draw me a picture of your ideal holiday and upload it to Seesaw and let's see what you can do. Challenge four is play a board game or complete a jigsaw puzzle. Challenge five. Or with challenge four, you might even create your own board game and then get other people to play it. Challenge five. Help someone in your home. This is a really good one to do. You know, you can see that always, there's always jobs need doing at home. So can you help with washing up the dishes or tidying up your bedroom or maybe help sorting out the garden if the weather's nice enough? Those kind of sort of things. So moving on to the challenge cards. So these are the Dr. Joe challenge cards. And there are five challenge cards in total. And each one of them has got two or three different challenges for you to do. I am in no way expecting you to do all of them. What I'd like you to do is to choose which card you like and have a go at a couple of challenges that are on those cards. So if I take this first one here, it, and this is really linked to your sound work that you did. It's linked to vibrations and pitch. And the equipment that you need is all stuff you'll be able to find at home. So in this case, your challenge one, it's looking at the uh, pitch of the vibration that's made when you fill up a glass with water to different levels. Um, hit it. Not so hard with a spoon, but hit it lightly with the spoon and you'll find that the pitch of the vibration changes. It gets higher and higher and higher and higher the fuller the, uh, the glass is. And if you have a look at challenge three, 
if you can manage to set your glasses out like that, then you can get you can see that there's musical notes underneath. And you might find a way of tapping out happy birthday. So like G G A G C B, etc. So it's just a challenge of something a bit different, but there's nothing really that you need that you need other than glasses and water. The other challenge cards, you've got this one here, which is looking at density of viscosity. Viscosity is how thick um, a liquid is. So for example, treacle and syrup has a higher viscosity than water and oil. It's thicker. It takes. It's how runny it is. Uh, floating and sinking activities. Again, they're all activities that, um, that you can do by using everyday stuff that you can find in your house. Um, again, this one here, I do like this one on paper planes. So again, straws and planes and have a good play and follow the instructions on here and, and see how far it can fly. Can you alter it? Can you change the design? So for example, there's a ring glider here. Uh, these hoop or ring gliders don't look like much, but they really work. I've never made one. I might give it a whirl. So see what you can come up with there. Uh, this one here is all about frost, freezing, snow and ice. You might not be able to do that one unless we have a, a bit of a late flurry in the weather. But, you know, see how it goes. This one here is about reaction rate. So how fast can your body do something? So it's a bit like having a ruler between your, your fingers. It's open, somebody drops a ruler and you catch it. And it'll show you, uh, let's say it's fallen by six centimetres. It gives you an indication of reaction time. If somebody does the same thing and it only gets two, they've got a quicker reaction time. So again, it's, it's things that you can do at home with everyday items. Again, I don't expect you to do them all, but please have a go at them. And please send me any of the videos of you doing them or send me in some of the work you've done or photographs of you doing. I would love to see what you get up to. This here is just a picture of the mindfulness coloring sheet uh, for you guys to do. Um, and that's it. So good luck and enjoy a day without screens. Have a good weekend. See you later. Bye-bye.